Good morning guys, today is Vlogmas day number 7! Oh my god, we are already one week into December, can you believe that? Because I can't. And I parked like a Parisian with like 5 centimeters in front and behind me. I have no idea how I am going to get out of here. So I just went for doctor's checkup, nothing serious, you know, usual regular health checkup. And now I really want to get some coffee because Max is right around the corner. And uh, the lady at the, you know, the place where you give your coat, she really made me smile because she was giving my coat back and she said, your coat smells incredible. What is it? And she was like waiting for me to tell what it is. And I said, it's diptyque fragrance. And she said, oh yeah, I have never heard about that. I said, it's just a vanilla scent. She was like so into this fragrance. She was like, oh, I can't, it smells so good. And it made me smile so much. I said, thank you so much. And I said, I cannot smell it myself. And that's actually true. But now that I sniff it, I can smell um, the diptyque eau de well. And I wore it yesterday and it's still on my coat. Just amazing especially for the colder season it just smells so beautiful and you just want to kind of sniff yourself coffee time i really don't like walking in this car park underground because it makes me i guess i watch too many scary movies i'm gonna surprise you guys i didn't take her to his own latte i took their christmas latte and i was like what's a christmas latte and it's with chocolate chip cookies and ginger or gingerbread. No idea. No. Let's do a taste test. Mm. It's very Christmasy. We have this new coffee bar called No Sugar. Everyone is talking about it but I haven't tried it yet and I'm really interested. It looks very hipster. And really cool. Remember the girl who sent me those cat stickers? They were super cute. She sent me probably a letter again, so I'm gonna read it now. I came next to Friedrich Passages because I'm gonna go uh, to Ida Studia and make a hair appointment. Because I'm going to Paris next week with Daiva. I haven't told this to you guys, but yeah, we're super excited. And I want my hair really nice and pretty for the trip. So, and this time I want to trim it a little bit more, quite a few inches, maybe like this much. And I want my layers to be more noticeable. But layers thin out your hair quite a bit. Yeah, I, I would like to cut maybe like this much off my ends to have it slightly shorter. I still love long hair, but I want it a bit shorter and more layers. Look at the card that Yelena sent me. Thank you so much, girl. And she's going to India, so have a fantastic time in India. Okay, I'm gonna get going now. Uh, I'm gonna show you three of passages because maybe they finished painting the clouds, if you remember. And this coffee is really nice. It tastes so Christmassy. It's really, really nice. They have their Christmas tree up. Look at that. I bet it's amazing at night. They have so many trees. Look at that. This is my favorite place in the city. And look at these. Hmm, I think they're gonna leave it like that. It's quite gray. And that's the sky. Ah, oh, so pretty. Look at that. I love this passage. Walking on cobblestones in the old town. <gasps> Damn it! I really, really pissed off at myself for that, but I guess they will get even more ruined in Paris. So I went into Eurocos because I wanted to buy perfume for my cousin Linda. <coughs> she specifically requested. Um, that I get her this perfume for her birthday, which is next month, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to her birthday or Christmas present, because the perfume is only 3 euros. Never go into drugstores if you don't need anything, because even if you don't need anything, you'll get out with a bag of stuff. So, I'm gonna show you what I got. I got Baby Dream Soft Baby Travel Wipes. 
Uh, it's not because I have a baby, it's just, you know, while doing your makeup to clean your hands, I'm gonna use them as wet wipes. Um, made in Britain? These were just one euro for one pack, so that's pretty good. I got Dove Shea Butter uh, with warm vanilla scent. This is my favorite soap. I use it for cleaning my makeup brushes and it's good for hands as well. It's really moisturizing and smells incredible. Then I got two deodorants for my boyfriend because you cannot get those in Paris, it's Old Spice, um, old man deodorant. <laughs> my dad has used this all his life. Sorry dad, he's not an old man. Um, my brother uses it as well and my boyfriend used to go to Germany a lot for work and he fell in love with this deodorant. So whenever he would go to Germany he would buy a bunch of those and we have those in Lutania so I thought I'm gonna get one for him. And then my boyfriend has a thing for minis, he cannot resist mini products got it for him because I'm a nice girlfriend like that uh, they had a bunch of bath products there and I saw this it says bath essence but you know it's just bath salt and it's coconut milk and ylang ylang oh my god this is like the best scent combination ever then I purchased my dove hair oil I told you guys that I ran out of it and it was on sale for only seven euros but that's a score because it's an amazing amazing hair oil this is the perfume that my cousin wanted me to get her and I'm sure that a lot of Lithuanian girls will be like oh this fragrance it does make me feel nostalgic because we grew up with this perfume like all my friends and classmates would uh, use a scent from this collection this is bonbons uh, I think these are Italian I'm not sure Yes, made in Italy. So I remember girls being crazy about these perfumes. I think I had the pink one. And I got a yellow one uh, for my cousin last year for Christmas. And she wanted this milkshake one, which I think smells like caramel or something. Let me spray it. It's really sweet. Oh, it's really sweet. It smells delicious. And she really wanted it. So I guess she'll be happy with that. I got this. Uh, organics, cherry blossom and ginseng shampoo for Paris because we're gonna stay only four days there so I think it will last me through the trip and the last thing I got, this was a gift with purchase uh, they had three different lip balms by Aldo Vandini to choose from so I chose the plumping one, this is cranberry and mimos so my car smells of this milkshake fragrance now <laughs> look at this lip balm, it's really cute and dinky Oh, it's actually tinted. Mm. It smells really nice. Like cranberry scent. <gasps> it's a really nice lip gloss. Isn't it? Just such a perfect color. It gives a little bit of a pink sheen to your lips. But is it plumping or volumizing? I'm not sure. I guess it just visually makes your lips look really juicy and plump. And it smells so lovely. <sighs> I really like it. It's made in Germany, so my German viewers will probably be able to get it. It feels very comfortable, non-sticky at all, and super moisturizing, so... Hmm, I'm gonna keep it in my bag. Already 2 o'clock, I'm getting hungry. The sun is out? What a surprise, it never is out. <laughs> Um, and yeah, winter sun is usually very low and very blinding, so you just have to wear sunglasses if you're driving. And I'm going to Yisk now to look for Christmas bed sheet. Oh my god, look at this bedding. So much Christmas stuff. with polar beer. <laughs> These are quite nice. Would you reckon? I really want to get this. It's so soft. Oh, it's Danish. It's not so cheap. Mm, frozen. I hate minions. So many pretty bed sheets. 
how does one choose? This is my favorite. But look at this one. It's driving. I'm getting this one. Oh my god, how pretty is that bubble? Cute socks. You can see my outfit here. You can see my shoes from there. This Bose's Christmas candle smells insanely good. It's plum and almond pie, so I'm gonna get a small one to take to Paris with me. Why does everything have to be so freaking pretty during Christmas? This is for your candles. By the way, in this Rimi shop they have this DeLonghi um, coffee machine. You know the one, the white one with like a bubble head and then... You know, like standard DeLonghi coffee machine where you put capsules and they have the latte one. Um, where they just make such beautiful latte with layers and it's on sale now for 39 euros which I think is so inexpensive such a good offer uh, and my mom and I would love to get it but we're not sure if the coffee tastes good so if any of you guys have it let me know if it's worth getting one like that uh, if the coffee is good. I don't like strong coffee, so for me mild coffee is okay. Let me know if it's worth it, if you use it, if you have it. Okay, I should probably stop with Christmas shopping because I feel like December is just endless shopping period. Like you buy stuff for your home, for friends and family, something for yourself as well. And it's just non-stop shopping. You spend so much money in December, it's ridiculous. So... Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff, things that I don't even need, but oh well, I'm gonna show those at home. And I guess in January and February you don't spend money on anything really, so it's fine, but it's a bit, you know, hardcore shopping in December. And I like giving to people, I love giving presents more than receiving them, so I feel like I wanna buy so many things for everyone. Okay, enough of rambling, I'm gonna go home and show you what I got. I'm back home. <laughs> is right next to me by the way i just got my supplies for uh, my jewelry so uh, my silver lumas chokers will be back in stock i've packed some of them yesterday and one christmas present that i have to send out tomorrow so if you want both gold and silver lumas chokers are in stock and louis is just being super annoying and naughty playing with my decorations louis stop it Okay, so I have this massive Yisk bag full of stuff. I got this incredibly pretty uh, throw. This is Snow Leopard throw and it's just so pretty. It's this kind of like beige gray color with white and it's almost like the color of Louis actually. I love it. It's so so pretty. Um, and I got it for myself and for my boyfriend. I wasn't sure whether it's gonna be for me or for him. I'll have to decide on that. It might be a part of his Christmas present. I'm just not sure if it's gonna fit in my small carry-on luggage because, you know, I have quite a few presents for him and only a tiny luggage. But anyway, if I decided to give it to him as a Christmas present, um, it's gonna be kind of like for both of us because we will live together in the future, so <laughs> we will share it. Um, I showed you what I got, you know, in this um, drugstore, but I have to hang this incredibly pretty bowl. I think it's my favorite so far that I got. I have one sweet potato, a massive sweet potato. I think I'm gonna cook it today. Some tuna. And I got this really pretty starry... Um, bag. I got it because I think I might bake my banana muffins before Paris and pack them for my boyfriend as well. But we will see. And this is the candle I'm gonna take to Paris. It smells so incredibly delicious. I think I'm gonna get the bigger one for my room. I don't even know where to hang it anymore because my three is so full of decorations. Maybe here. So I showed you. I got these 
slippers these are like almost like socks but they're so cozy and fleecy on the inside i love anything with the stars you probably know that already judging from my star tattoos and uh, i know fleur from fleur the force is obsessed with stars i love them as well but i'm not on her level yet so these are the bed linens i got for myself i went to get the christmasy ones i ended up getting simple classic ones these are rococo 100% cotton, you know, they have this satin shine to them and I thought well, they're gonna go with any season really <laughs> Got this little Christmassy tablecloth for our kitchen. I thought it's really pretty and These dewy covers the lady kindly removed these for me. These were you know an exposition piece I think because it was an exposition item they gave me um, a little discount so it ended up costing 12 euros which I think is a price I would pay for Christmassy duvet covers that's a good price in my opinion I called to my mom and asked whether we have a birthday present for Linda I told you guys her birthday is next month and my mom said no so I said okay I'm gonna get these duvet covers for her as a birthday present because Baby blue is her favorite color. She loves birds. These just have Linda all over them. So yeah, it's gonna be her birthday present. She's not watching my vlogmas, so I don't mind showing it. I forgot. I didn't open my advent calendars today. <laughs> my almonds are still here. Okay, today is day seven, right? Yes, it's here. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat it. Slay with gifts. I feel like we had one like this already. Someone commented saying it's so interesting how you close the doors once you open your advent calendar. And I'm like that. I close them so that next day it's a challenge for me to find a day. Okay, day number seven. Right here. It's right here. Oh, Christmassy pack of Haribos. These are snowmen. Okay, and day number seven is here. This is so exciting. Oh, another pigment. A new day is a chance to shimmer and shine. Definitely, Tanya, you're so right. It's called Starry Night. The name is absolutely amazing, and I'm sure it's a gorgeous pigment. It's like black with silver shimmer. So, Louis is still down there being really naughty and i have to sort out this mess and go downstairs to eat mom cooked dinner for the family so i just uh made my salad that's rocket olive oil lemon you know the usual jazz just added a little bit of parmesan cheese on top and here i'm just having some roasted potatoes and meat and a glass of water of course i'm gonna eat my haribos and uh, i wanted to do some work because today was dedicated for Christmas shopping pretty much. I didn't have time to do my admin work, fill in the info bar of my videos and schedule the vlogs. So I'm gonna do that now while my parents are having their dinner and they're gonna go to a homeware shop now with my grandfather. My grandfather is staying here actually in our house for a week before we move them in into their new apartment in Klaipeda next weekend we'll have to help with that do lots of cleaning and unpacking so my grandfather wants to look for a shower but that's why my parents are going to the homeware shop I just want to join because you know they have amazing Christmas decorations there so today will be dedicated to shopping and having fun pretty much um, I'm gonna make a thumbnail for my video now so the way that I make a thumbnail is I go to Final Cut Pro, the program that I use for editing my videos and take a screenshot of a scene that I think is okay for a thumbnail and I go on pickmonkey.com I think a lot of YouTubers use this Just go to edit, choose a picture from your computer and here on the side you have everything so I go on Snowflake because here you have the, you know, Christmas theme. So first of all I put my candy cane frame. And then I go onto the snowflake again, Winterland, and I choose my snowflakes. And I like to add three different ones. Look how cute Louis is here. <laughs> Biting my hand. 
See, so, yeah, and just resize them to the size that you want. Maybe here. Let's add the fourth one. Make it a bit smaller and put it here. So that's gonna be my thumbnail for Vlogmas day six, and I just save it. These jelly gums are adorable. Look, it's a tiny Santa head and a gingerbread. And they're so sour and so delicious. I love them. Christmas stuff. The same candles are 30% off here. And that's pretty. These carpets though. Oh my god, that's the one I really, really want. So many carpets here. I'm home. I'm gonna put up the new decoration. Seriously, I should stop buying them. But I cannot control myself. So guys, if you see me buying or even touching your Christmas decoration, please tell me off. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> and now, with Louis by my side, I'm just gonna look through your comments and answer some of them. And then I'm making myself a cup of tea. And I think I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas videos, catch up on those because I have like almost a hundred <laughs> to catch up on. Right now I know it's ridiculous but I watch like my favorite Vlogmas first and then I leave the rest for later. So have a good night or good morning guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!